Hello and welcome to the Getting Started Guide for our 3 Diacom software. In this video, we'll show you how to download the launcher, start 3 Diacom, and open your first scan inside the software. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using some of the sample data available from the 3 Diacom website. You can find it by navigating to 3diacomviewer.com, clicking on Support, and then Diacom Library. Here you'll find some sample scans to use. For this video, we'll be using the CT scan of the lungs. Simply click download scan and then select the scan you want to download and hit download. Once this is completed, extract the files to an easy to reach location on your computer. To download the 3 Diacom launcher, you can navigate to my.singular.health and log in using the email and password you signed up with. Once you're signed in, you will be shown to the dashboard. You can simply click the download launch button on the right hand side. Alternatively, you can go to the download page and click on download launcher here. If you just made the purchase, you can also download the launcher by clicking the download button on your order confirmation page. Once the download has completed, simply click the install and let it run. Once installed, you may be prompted to update the software. Simply click OK and it will download and install the update automatically for you. You may need to start the launcher by hand. You can do this by pressing start and type in singular launcher. After the launcher has updated and installed, you will be prompted to choose a language. Simply hit your language and click continue. You'll then be asked to log in using the same details you signed up with. Next, you'll need to assign a license to your device. Simply click on the drop down menu and choose your license. You can use your subscription up to three devices at once. These can all be managed from the my.singlot.health dashboard. If you don't see your license here, please check you have a license on the dashboard or contact support at singlet.health for assistance. The licenses can be accessed at any time by clicking on the text next to the key icon. To install 3 Diacom itself, simply hit Install 3 Diacom and the download will start. Once the 3 Diacom software is installed, we're ready to launch it. Simply hit the Launch 3 Diacom button and it will start up. It may take a few seconds for this to happen. Once you're inside the software, you can simply hit Accept and Continue on the disclaimer and it will be shown in the scan database. This is where you manage all of the scans inside the software. To import your first scan, you can simply hit Import Diacom in the top right hand corner. If you are loading it from a CD or a DVD, you can expand this PC or My Computer and simply select your CD drive and hit OK. 3 Diacom should find all the scans inside the CD and import them for you automatically. Sometimes there can be issues with reading files from a CD or a DVD. In this case, we recommend copying the contents of the CD to your local hard drive and importing it to the folder instead. For the purpose of this video, I will locate the folder of the scan we downloaded earlier and import it. As you can see, my scan is contained within several folders. However, with read icon search, lets you choose the topmost folder and it will automatically find all the scans inside for you. So we'll choose my scan and hit OK. 3 Diacom will now import and validate all the files automatically and present them to you in a broken down view, starting with the patient, the study, and then the series. We can click on the patient at the top here, identify the study we want to view, and then finally we can see all the individual scans inside that study. In order to load a scan up, we can simply click it and it will start to load. A quick tip is to have all your scans inside separate folders. This will help organize your scans and also improve the loading time within the software. Now the scan is loaded, we'll go through some basic navigation and display features of 3 Diacom. In order to rotate your scan, simply left click and drag. If you would like to zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel to scroll forwards or backwards. Or if you're on a laptop or without a mouse, you can simply hit the forwards and backwards key. 
In order to cut through any more of the scan, we use these sliders up here. You can simply click and drag each one, and they will hide and reveal different layers of the scan. If we would like to just add brightness, contrast, and opacity, we can simply drag them. And finally, if we'd like to cut through our scan to different parts of it, we can use a 3D intersect tool below. Side tool, or side to side. Chronal, or front to back. And finally, axial, or top to bottom. If at any point we would like to view the 2D views of our scan, we can simply hit the full screen button next to each of our views. The scroll will now navigate through each slice for you. Alternatively, you can click and drag. In order to reset the scan back to its original defaults, we can simply hit the reset icon. And if we want to reset our view, we can hit the home icon or hit our spacebar. In order to load another scan, we click on open and just choose any other scan we want to. Sometimes scans may at first appear black. However, this normally means just some of the values need to be adjusted. In order to do this, we can simply drag these buttons up here and the scan should come into view. You can also adjust the brightness and contrast to hopefully bring the scan back into view for you. If you have any problems with the software or loading a scan, feel free to check our knowledge base available at the my.singular.health dashboard or contact our support at support at singular.health.